Alrighty folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. Back in the day, the only way to get from Truro to Provincetown was going around Pilgrim Lake. The backside, the tough way, sand going everywhere. We're going to do that again today. CapeCast. This may be a classic case of you can't get there from here, because back in the day, there wasn't this hunk of land in front of Pilgrim Lake, also known as East Harbor. This was wide open water right here. The railroad came in and they made this bridge going across. That's what separated this body of water, Pilgrim Lake, from Cape Cod Bay. We were inspired to make this journey around the backside of East Harbor by reading the book Truro, the Story of a Cape Cod Town by Richard Whalen. In it, he describes what it was like back then, before the dike, before Route 6, when you wanted to get to P-Town. Quote, the only way to reach Provincetown was to go cross-country around the north side of East Harbor over the wind-swept, ever-shifting sand dunes along the Atlantic Ocean. Ocean breakthroughs and big storms could block the route. The blinding sandstorms and impossibility of maintaining a roadway across miles of barren dunes would shock travelers of the early 1800s. All right, here we go. This walk begins at the head of the meadow bike trail parking lot, the northernmost parking lot in North Truro. This is the kind of walk that doesn't look that far from above. You just hope it all pans out and we can make this circuit pretty quick. Just like the old days. Okay, we're edging into the province lands, Cape Cod National Seashore. Right after the low and slow sign, we're going to start to make a move left. And we can start to see the dunes up above Pilgrim Lake. Soft sand. And over there you can see that notch in the dunes. That's what we were aiming for. Well, we made it to the top of the first dune, the mighty Atlantic behind us. The province land spread out like a sandy picnic blanket below us back into the bright sun here. We see Pilgrim Lake and Route 6 heading on up to Truro and there's the path we must take. Woohoo! Well as a bonus we're seeing at least a few cranberries in this little boggy world over here behind Pilgrim Lake. And all I need is a drumstick and some mashed potatoes. Oh, there's a historic site behind Pilgrim Lake here. This was Miles Standish's bachelor pad way back in the day when the Pilgrim was cavorting around these parts. It was also used as a location for the popular movie Weekend at Bernie's 3. What's Miles Standish doing here? Uh, straight to video. That's actually a dune shack out here. Hmm, coyotes, dogs, my mother-in-law, just kidding. Well, we finally come out with a view of Pilgrim Lake, also known as East Harbor. We're out behind it. I would have thought we would have been there by now, but... Oh man, we still got some ways to go. Hey, we actually made it down to a beach here at Pilgrim Lake on the other side. Looking at North Truro and all those cottages before us. Maybe it's a nude beach. What do you say? Dun, dun, dun. Well, folks, we made it to Provincetown the old school way around the backside of Pilgrim Lake. If these were the old days, we'd probably be going to P-Town for a little drinking, carousing, maybe a little fighting. Not a bad idea. Let's go. Cape Gas. Cape Cat!